Well, it's time for the reveal of the super top secret modification for the square body. Now I've done a lot of homework on these, uh, on this product. I've done, I would say, countless of hours of research on several different systems. And the one I've chosen to go with is the Holly Sniper EFI. I've read tons and tons of literature. I've watched, I don't know how many YouTube videos on this particular system and I am I'm definitely excited about the results that I've seen uh, online and the literature I've read um, not just from Holly but uh, many other forums people running these EFI systems and, and how um, excited they are. I've looked into Phytech, I've looked into FAST, um, the Atomic EFI uh, by MSD. I've looked into all of those different systems and for the application that I'm going to be using it for, which is basically a daily driver, something that's dependable, um, I don't have to mess with it. The idea behind this system here is I just set it up I install it, I set it up, I answer a few questions, and once it hits 160 degrees on the thermostat, it takes over and learns everything. I don't have to do anything with it, I won't have to play with it or tune it, it's, it's supposed to be self-learning and tune itself. Now, having said that, I can't wait no more. I gotta, I gotta open it up. What do you think? You want me to open it? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get a look at it. Oh, turn it around here. I got it on the hood, so I don't want to drag it around on my hood. I've already cut the box open. But we'll, we'll do an official unboxing. So, in this box, we got the instruction manual, carburetor base gasket, and the air cleaner gasket. Very important pieces, got to have those. Got a foam block. Now everything I've seen comes when you get this system you get an instruction manual and it's very detailed and it also has a chapter of what not to do which is cool which I've been doing mechanic work long enough to know what not to do but it's kind of super cool that they send it Bear with me, this is my first unboxing video. I've never done this before, but it'll be fun. We'll use this. Okay, in this first box, we'll get to this later. We'll start over here. In this box, box number one, we get, I think they said 20 feet of this vapor guard hose, which that's good stuff. We get these AN fittings, they're NOS sniper fittings. We get those two, and this one, and another one. I'll have to read the instructions to figure out exactly which ones these are for. But I know one of these, and I think it's this fitting right here, and these two fittings right here, are to add the return line to your 
uh, existing factory fuel tank, which my truck built in 79 has a factory return system already, which I may or may not use. It just depends on whether or not the line size is big enough to support the volume of fuel. In this box, this is a PRD 3671, and this is a fuel filter. Yes, I got the master kit. And in this box here is the pre fuel filter. So this one goes on line coming out of your tank before it goes into the fuel pump. And it comes with some little line fittings in there and clamps. That's super cool. This PRD30768 is, there's your clamps that's bolted to the frame rail, and this is your inline fuel pump, which truthfully it looks very similar to the universal style fuel pump you buy for a 1985 through, I'm going to say 88 or 89 Ford pickup. He had five fuel injected. I'm not sure what this is for. Exactly. I'll have to read the instructions. Then you got a series of post clamps. A couple of gaskets. And another vapor Earl Vapor Guard fitting. Super cool. We got three of those, two of those, and one of them. Bag of fuel clamps. And in here is Sniper EFI fuel kit. This is the instructions on how to put all of this together. It'll tell you what each fitting's for, what you do with it, and how to do it. So cool. So that's box number one. I'll put everything back in there. Uh, this isn't going to get installed for probably another couple weeks because, well, quite frankly, I don't like working in the rain, and the forecast is uh, is forecasting 10 days rain. So we'll put this stuff up, and when we're ready for it, we'll get it out, and we'll install it on the 79 GMC square body. So there's box number one. I feel like a kid in the candy store. Okay, box number two. This is the one that makes the magic happen. So they put this in there. This is so when you're laying on the truck, laying underneath the truck on the ground, you can put your head on this like a pillow. Yeah, not really. That's just to protect it from padding. Okay, our first baggie of stuff, it looks like we have the power wiring harness with the fuel pump relay and the main fuse. This powers your throttle body. Here you have wide band O2 sensor, which I have two of these. So I got this one and I got one other. So I can run dual wide band. As far as I understand, this system will support two wide band O2 sensors. This is your universal wiring harness with your Tack and, and uh, so on and so forth in there. I think this one's got your tack wire in it. I'll have to read the instructions to find out. 
Okay, this is the included coil driver. This is so you can hook up the uh, Sniper EFI distributor with an aftermarket coil. You're going to run a CDI box, something similar to this. Here, as far as I know, this system will run this box. So I have this. I've had it for years. I've never done anything with it. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. Yeah, I don't ever know. Okay, this little kit right here is your O2 sensor bomb. Use these clamps, drill a hole the size of this hole here. Use a step drill bit, I recommend, is the best way to do that because well, it just works better. Because you start a little hole and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's big enough for your O2 sensor. You want to make sure you mount this in your pipe, you know, I'll go over that when I install it. But there's that. This is your temperature sensor. This goes in your intake manifold. Gets the best reading at the front of the intake, about the middle, one side or the other, the thermostat. There, if you run aftermarket intake manifold, there's a port on both sides. So, this doohickey here, I guess, is your controller. That comes with an empty little box. That's kind of cool. So you put this on your dash and then you can slide this in there and then you got your control panel. Super cool. It says Holly Sniper EFI. No, this is not paid advertisement. This is just me being super excited about getting this kit and wanting to show it to you all, my fans on YouTube, all 64 of you. Maybe one day I'll have more, I don't know. And what do we got here? Little stickums and a stylus. Looky there, it's even white. Super cool. Okay, enough said about that. Let's put all this junk back in the box and move on to the big reveal. Part that's got me all excited. Got everything back in there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Put this back in bubble wrap, I don't know if nothing happened to that. So, super cool. I love it. I'm excited. I am really, really excited to have this. I gotta thank a very good friend of mine. And he knows who he is. I don't need to mention no names, but this very good friend of mine helped me get this. Now. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. So this is the throttle body unit itself. And it's got all these wires running out of it. It looks like a carburetor, but it's not a carburetor. And that's the part that's got me all excited. Because when you put it on your engine, it sits there just like that. Well, I can show you. I just happen to have... This little doohickey right here. intake manifold. So, you got the intake manifold and you got the throttle body. This will set on here just like a carburetor. And then you plumb all your wires in. This would be where you'd want to put your temperature sending unit or you could put it here. Here or here. Either one, it doesn't matter as long as it is 
in the proximity of the thermostat because this is where you're going to get your most accurate temperature reading. A lot of guys like to put them in the side of the head in a little hole over here or over here and that actually only reads one side of the engine. All of the coolant that flows through your engine flows right through here and it will be the most accurate temperature reading you will ever get. That's why you see a lot of hot rod guys, they take this plug out, they put their temperature sending unit in here that runs to their gauge, and that's where they put it. General Motors, some of your GM vehicles from the factory have two temperature sending units. They have one in the side of the head, and that runs your gauge. And then they'll have one in the intake manifold that runs the computer. Food for thought. Don't know how true that is. I'm not a mechanic. But that's it. This is the whole deal. The whole ball of wax. This is my my dream come true. I decided the last time I bought a Holley carburetor that I was never going to buy another Holley carburetor again. And I'm not saying that Holley carburetors are bad. I'm just saying I'm tired of dealing with carburetors. Every time the barometric pressure changes, you got to open the hood and change the carburetor. Every time the weather changes, the temperature changes, even, you know, any change in the weather at all, you have to readjust the carburetor. This, on the other hand, if I want to take a trip to Colorado and go up to Pikes Peak, this thing's going to adjust everything for me as I drive. I'm not going to have to do nothing. It's going to make adjustments for the elevation changes. It's going to richen and lean out the, the mixture as I go up the side of the hill. As you go up the side of the hill, the air gets thinner. What happens when the air gets thinner? Your vehicle runs richer. Well, this is going to make the adjustment. So it will automatically lean the system out as I change elevation. If I go downhill, it'll richen it up and I won't have to do anything. I won't have to stop halfway up the hill and retune the carburetor so I can keep climbing the hill. I'm okay with that. And I've been uh, a Holly customer ever since I've been building hot rods. And I've been building hot rods since I was 14 years old. Just about every one I've ever built has had a Holly carburetor on it. And when they come out with this system, I was like super excited. I'm like, I gotta have it. So, there it is. The Holly Sniper EFI. Now this system particular is the 550-511 master kit. Master kit means it come with the fuel system. If you get the other one, you don't get the fuel system. And it retails for around a thousand bucks without the fuel system. With the fuel system, it's like 1250. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer. You could go buy a Phytec for the same money or a little less money, but you're not getting nearly what you're getting when you buy this. And that's all I gotta say about that. No, I'm not knocking Phytec. I looked into the Phytec system. There was some features about it that I really didn't care for, so I decided not to go with Phytec. This has more options, and dollar for dollar, for a few hundred dollars more, in the Phytech system, you can buy this Holly system. And not only are you buying a good quality product that's been around for a lot of years, and I think Holly should sponsor me for this because I sure am talking them up. But for what you can spend on the Phytech system, you can buy the Sniper EFI for a few hundred dollars more and get a way, way more dependable system. I read too many, too many reviews on the Phytech that complain about certain things. I'm not going to go into details because I ain't trying to bash nobody. And it's the same with the MSD system and the, you know, the fast EFI, the easy EFI. It's the same. They all have their quirks. Even this system here is going to have its quirks. I've read a few things on it. We're not going to go into details, but it's got its quirks. But the amount of quirks with this system versus all of the others, I decided to go with this one because it was the least, uh, 
the least amount of trouble, uh, dependability wise. But, so, we're going to end this video right here. I've been rattling, rattling about this system for 20 minutes. And my wife told me that I got to come back in the house in about an hour or so so we can put the kids to, get to bed and watch a movie together. So, I'm going to leave you here. If you like my attitude, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Go on ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Ring the notification. You'll get a, you'll get you'll get notifications when I go to start putting this system together on my '79 C10 GMC. Well, actually, actually, I stand corrected. It's not a C10. It's a C15. But that's all another story. So anyway, thank you for watching.